Hello and welcome back to Newsroom Nigeria. This is where we give you hot, fresh and sizzling news all day long. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go to the subscribe button and click on it. The subscribe button is free of charge. Click on the red button down below. Join this amazing community we have here. Turn on the post notification bell as well so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, leave your opinions in the comment section below. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. Breaking news, Tinobu sends APC lawyer Oluwole Afolabi to defend him against Atiku in Chicago Records case. President Bola Tinobu has sent Oluwole Afolabi, a lawyer of an all-progressive Congress, who inundated Adam Zoshiomole with legal battles leading to his removal as party chairman in 2020 to the U.S., to defend him in the Chicago University Records case, in which his principal opponent, Atikwa Bubaka, is seeking a subpoena for the institution to release his school records. Documents seen by People's Gazette showed Mr. Falabi on August 14 filed a motion at the United States District Court for the Northern District of Illinois to appear for Mr. Tinobu Pro Act Vice, a judicial process that allows a lawyer not admitted to practice in a jurisdiction to appear for a client in a particular case in that jurisdiction. The motion granted on August 16 by George Nancy Maldonado suggested Mr. Folabi would be running points on on the case to be supported by Charles Carmichael, a Chicago-based lawyer who had been representing Mr. Tinobu since Mr. Abubaka brought the law suit over the past month. Newsroom Nigeria learned that at least five lawyers are charged with vigorously defending Mr. Tinobu's interest. In 2020, Mr. Folabi had been actively practicing law out of Nigeria and had gained prominence for having effectively oyster Mr. Oshiomole as chairman of the APC. He was at the time representing controversial politician Victor Gadon, who had been seeking to topple the party's national chairmanship in order to occupy the position himself. The Nigerian lawyer who listed a Staten Island, New York address for the U.S. arm of his law practice is expected to lend his Nigerian knowledge and expertise to build a solid defense against Mr. Atikwa Bubaka's argument. Several other Nigerian lawyers and professionals are known to use the same address Mr. Folabi listed at 805 Cassington Avenue, including Dayo Owotomo. Mr. Atiku Abubaka is seeking to clarify decades long controversies ranging from age, academic background, and even gender that Mr. Tinobu may not be the person he long claimed to be so as to nullify his electoral victory at the Presidential Election Petitions Tribunal in Nigeria. Independent journalist David Zidane obtained records showing a female Bola Tinobu that attended Chicago State University in the 1970s, although the institution affirmed that it graduated a Bola Tinobu on June 22, 1979. It declined to respond when asked to clarify the student's gender and if it was the same person as Nigerian's president. Mr. Abubakar's attorneys found Mr. Tinobu's adamant opposition to the move to divulge his documents to be puzzling and abnormal, 
arguing that a president should be ready to address any rumors of errors in his credentials rather than fighting to conceal them. Consequently, Judge Jeffrey o. Gilbert gave Mr. Tinobu until August 23 to file a convincing response arguing why his school records should not be released to Mr. Atiku Abubakar. Hey, oh my God. The battle just began, my people. Imagine, like, at this point, I'm like, there is something important. If there is nothing important that Tinobu is hiding, I don't think he will go this far, paying lawyers here and there just to defend him outside the country. And I must applaud Atiku Abubakar. This is a good move. Like, this is such a great move because now we are going to be you know knowing about his true age is if is he a male or female that graduated from chicago state university or is actually tenobo himself at this point i'm just so hyped i'm so happy you all before we go let's take a look at some of the reactions we got online adam says what are you defending Atiku is doing you a favor to clear your name. Abio is doing him a favor because all the rumors that people have been carrying about, about his age, saying that he's, he's not declaring his true age, this one, that one, or everything will be cleared. If you really graduated at the said university, why are you restless unless you did not graduate in the school? Hmm. Peter says, no hiding place for you, Baba. No hiding place. So this time around, and I trust those people. Those people can, they cannot be bought over. They cannot be paid. So the true color, the true situation of things is going to be revealed very soon. Ross says, why this bro? Haha, I don't understand. You studied in a particular school and you were asked to present your certificate and you are stopping it. Tribunal should sack this man, oh, as in hmm. Ayo Aluko says, What a country! Atiku and Peter Obi have spent the best part of the last three months fielding a thousand and one situations in court to get the president disqualified for issues of 30 years ago. They are not satisfied with their inglorious loss the, in the courts. They have been failing all along and definitely they will still fail ultimately. This person seems to be a supporter of Tenobu. But anyway, the truth shall be revealed very soon. In no time we shall know the truth. You all, thank you very much for always listening and watching. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget, I love you all. Bye for now.